All right, what's up, everybody? Mid Morning Soul here, and yes, long video. This is stemming from the other video I just did. I was like, you know what? Let me record it aftermath. But yeah, y'all, this is going to be an interesting experimentation. This is the first time I am dabbling in PC gaming. Now, I know what y'all thinking, like, ugh, Sasha, you could have, well, yeah, Sasha's my first name. Ugh, Sasha, you could have got, um, you could have built your own PC. I don't think that's feasible for me at this point because my laptop died flat out died like the hard drive is bad and the motherboard is messed up so I'm like you know what screw it let me get a desktop and I was just freaking out because I had to do it on a budget and um yeah y'all um HP I find it to be reliable like that HP laptop I had, I was doing everything like I pretty much should not have been doing, which is like video editing, gaming. But yeah, I I'm not playing AAA titles on that thing. I was playing like visual novels. And even then, you know, some of the videos that I've done um the reaction it was um off of that laptop so yeah I mean it got me through pharmacy school like pretty much all four years and then some and then uh, it kicked the bucket um, during shift while I was working so folks I decided to go to a desktop and then you know once I'm once I'm in my new place I'm gonna like probably get another pre-built PC and go all out. I will try to build a, a PC and I don't know if y'all are interested in it but yeah this is the unboxing. So this is the HP Pavilion. Um, not the Omen series. Not um oh yeah they take this up, puppy up really good. Not the Omen series not um anything else and yeah i had woken up a little while earlier and i'm like you know what let me shoot this video for y'all before i go to my city dump to get rid of the trash and whatnot so this is an open box y'all and for those of you that may not know, or could know, let me put this down. There we go. So, with open box, y'all, if you don't know, I got this off of eBay. So, it's supposed to come with everything. It's basically a new PC, but they open the box, hence open box. So if you're looking for something like that's the best of both worlds, um, a discounted price, and um, discounted price, and what other crap, and like pretty much like new or brand new, open box is your best bet. So this is the standard keyboard, USB. I think it's a standard USB, it's not the 3.0. Oh, it's got... Hmm. It's from Germany. Because I see the... Uh, interesting. I'm noticing a lot of the subtext. No wonder it's cheap. So, y'all. 
for this system this system this um pc standard hp mouse usb i hope y'all can see where i'm putting stuff at um for this uh pc i paid 719 dollars i believe so yeah folks instruction manual Okay, and then also on eBay, y'all, the dude had um, 100% ratings, so if you're ever doing, like, any sort of, like, major electronics or major, um, whatever shopping, definitely get somebody that has, I would say, don't settle for less than 99%, really, because... Um, if you're making, like, an uh, investment such as a computer or a TV or whatever the case may be, a high-value item off of eBay, don't chance it on a new seller. I mean, the new seller... What is this? Oh. Power cord. I'm like, I'm saying it better come with one. Um, as... My advice to you, don't settle for nine, less than 99%. There is, like, that 1% in which, you know, somebody might have had, like, a hiccup, whatever. I get it. But for the most part, 99 to 100% reviewer rating. And as a seller, not as a buyer. Because if you just get it as a seller, or excuse me, as a buyer, you don't know how they are selling, then... They might be scumbags or whatever. So, I mean, that's not necessarily the case, y'all. But still, um, you don't want to chance it. Oof. The styrofoam. But, held it snugly in place. This is not heavy. Not heavy. Um, I've had towers that were like ridiculously heavy and that's what would discourage me from buying a desktop pc in the first place y'all is that the tower was so freaking heavy it's like i'm not gonna bother you know so folks um let's see here I'll turn it around so you can see the peripherals. Um, this is an i5. I want to say 7400 or 8400 series um, processor, Intel processor. It has the GTX 1050 Ti. Yeah, I had no idea when it came to graphics cards i'm just like well screw it whatever graphics card is in here will work um that's something i have to get better educated on but yeah i'm not really gonna be playing triple a titles um at all but that's the graphics card it has a ssd in there i think it's 256 and then it has a one terabyte hard drive disk has a lot of USB peripherals, audio, um, the audio series, HDMI, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, what else did I want to mention? The good thing about my intentions is that for the games that I want to play, basically visual novels, I don't really want to... Like, it's not going to be taxing on this computer. Because, like, this computer is something for a uh, mean time and between time. It's for something that I'm not trying to, um, you know, future-proof and do all this other stuff. 
yeah, y'all, I'm going to go ahead, get it set up. I'll show y'all what it looks like um, booted up. So, yeah, really excited. Don't go anywhere, y'all. All righty, folks. And see, look here. Situated. Now we about to turn this bad boy on. Woo! Look at that. Beautiful in my favorite color green, too. All right, it was a bit shooketh, but I didn't have the monitor plugged all the way in. So, mm. so I'm going to go ahead, set this up. I bring y'all back. I know jump cuts ahoy. I am sorry about that. Um, I will say before continuing on that this is um this is connected via display port through the graphics card. But all right, y'all. Let me go ahead and get acquainted with my little baby boy pre-built computer. All right, y'all. So here is the setup product. I have my HP webcam, which came in a little bit after my computer came in. Um, yeah, it's probably be me being OCD, but I like to just keep the brands the same for the product. I like to keep the brand the same. So that's the HP um, webcam. You know HP my I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn on the light. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, I can barely see it. HP monitor. I got this monitor for like 60 bucks. It was like I basically got the monitor because this, like I think up to 23 could fit the this desk area. It's a very small desk. But, um, yeah, y'all, I just got the smallest monitor. I'm really not all that big on, um, having a wide freaking monitor. The speakers, HP. I'm telling you, I ain't playing with this HP, though. They were just cheap, flat speakers I got. Um, the, this keyboard... And mouse they came with the computer uh, but I can show y'all really quick the bundle too and then as you can see HP paper and there's the HP pavilion and then just for gags HP printer <laughs> and then this is the second monitor y'all so it looks like this. I have to like crane my head up a little bit, but yeah. This is a Samsung because I use the TV as a second monitor. And then this is the pavilion accessory bundle that I was telling y'all about. So you get the headset, <laughs> excuse me, headset, keyboard, mouse, mouse pad, and then it tells you. Featuring the Omen by HP Mouse 400. So I think this is pretty cool, y'all. Um, I I got it. It was um, slashed off a little bit because they had a HP had a promotion, but um, I mean, would I use? Oh, excuse me, y'all. Would I use this now? Not really. Because for now, I'm just doing, I'm not doing any hardcore serious gaming. I'm just doing the, like, everyday computer tasks and, um, and light gaming. I haven't even gamed on this computer yet, so that just goes to show I'm, I'm not really busting this out until I need to. Hey, what's good, y'all? So, we're here, back. Just got the computer finished setting up. And, um, yeah, let's first crack down the spec, shall we? This is an HP Pavilion gaming desktop. Uh, the model is 690-00XX. 
that's what it's called. Um, it's running on Windows 10, um, home version, 64-bit security. The processor is an Intel Core i5-8400 CPU at 2.80 gigahertz. Y'all let me know. I know the higher, the better. Like, I think it's at, um... 10th generation <laughs> so um yeah i mean i take what i can get this is my first like desktop that i'm going to use for other stuff but pc gaming so system memory is 12 gigs um both of which are samsung there's an 8 and a 4 in there uh doo -doo -doo -doo. oh Video card or graphics card is a NVIDIA GeForce uh, 1050 <laughs> Titan. And folks, I already know. I already know what you're going to say. Sasha or Midmorning. I go by either. You do know there's a 1600 series. And there's the ever precedent in 20... Uh, 20 series because there's 2060, 2070, 2080. Okay, well, I don't have the 20 series money, but what I'm kicking myself for is that I didn't know about the 16 series. So, bad on me for not doing my research, but all I was aware of was the 1050s. Or excuse me, the 10 series, 10, 50, 60, 70, 80, 10, 80 was like um, pretty good at the time. So that's on me. And I'm looking at a current resolution of 1600 by 900, which I don't really care. I don't really care for streaming, being able to stream in like 4K or look at stuff in 4K. Um, I'm connected uh, through the monitor, I'm connected through DisplayPort, which I'm not sure um, what the advantage is, but I do have a two-monitor uh, system because that's how I was doing with my job before I was let go. I had to have a um, dual monitor display, and um, you know I still have the second monitor right here. It's over off to the screen, off to the side, off screen, but you can see right here. So, um, or you can't see, jeez, wording is hard, y'all. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I still have the second monitor set up over here. And, um, yeah, I just use it as I see fit. Um, I know for streaming, it's, it's good to have two monitors so that one you can look at for gaming and the other monitor you can do, um, the Twitch setup and all that good stuff. So it's a learning process, y'all. And um, whatever tips y'all have for me, I'd really appreciate. Definitely will um, look and read through them. But I just wanted to do this with the PC because um, I know that uh, PC gaming, yeah, I say y'all, but I'm trying to get in there, trying to get in there like swimwear, y'all. But PC gaming, y'all get a lot of stuff first. And there's a multitude of sales going on. In fact, there's a sale going on right now. Um, Steam summer sale. I know y'all have a summer sale and uh, some other kind of sale. But it's going to take me a while to get acclimated, y'all. Truth be told, because I am a console gamer. I will forever be a console gamer till the day I die. So... That's just how it is. But, you know, giving PC a chance and, um, you know, tinkering around. I do want to be able to build a PC at one point. Um, I know folks say it's easy to do. So, um, yeah, I look forward to that. I also want to upgrade this um, pre-built. And I know that, you know, pre-built gets... Um, shit it on a lot because well they're gonna be like well you could do it on your own just buy the own just buy your own parts and you know just do it 
But I don't want to risk, especially, you know, not having a job. I don't want to risk, like, any malfunctioning going on. I needed a PC and I needed it fast. Or somewhat fast. Uh, so I didn't want to chance, you know, a dum dum trying to build a PC and I needed it. I need it for like other stuff, like I needed it ASAP. So I will try to upgrade parts um, and like do my own research, see what's what. Because um, I think with this PC, y'all, um, you can access um what's inside the cache and um mainly just upgrade your uh solid state drive and other stuff so that's gonna be a journey in itself like once i get comfortable doing that maybe upgrading the video card if i can y'all because i know well now i know that 1080 i wish it was a 1080 i wouldn't be so concerned with upgrading the card but a 1050 is pretty down there. But I know probably some of y'all will tell me, well, Sasha, I've had the generation before the 10s, and I'm still going strong. Uh, so that's cool. Do let me know. Um, I've seen a couple videos. The main reason why I got this pre-built, y'all, um, and... I got it off eBay, like I said before earlier in the video, but I just want to reiterate the whole situation. Um, I got this PC pre-built um, off of eBay. It was 700 and some change just for the PC. And I looked at the memory. I looked at if it had Intel. Because, pardon my ignorance, but y'all, I'm more comfortable with Intel uh, processor processors over AMD processors. I've heard and sort of kind of read that AMD's better for gaming, but this PC's um, used for more than just gaming. So, I decided to go with Intel, what I know best. And, um, with that being said, y'all... You know, when I have a PC for, you know, maybe I could do a dual PC setup. It's just that um, with streaming, it seems a little daunting at the moment. But I think it's like once I get accustomed to stuff, it's like clockwork. Like I'll know what to do. I can adjust and improve on, you know, on command. And that's that's what I hope, y'all. That's what I hope. So, um, audio, uh, yeah, there's not really much. But I know the video card is kind of becoming, like, obsolete. They've even stopped selling, uh, 10, the 10 series, 10, 50, 60, 70, 80. So, I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm gonna try to look at, to upgrading the, my 1050 if I can. Upgrade the 1050 to 1660 or something like 1660 Super or something like that because I heard the Super um, video cards are more for streaming. They're better put for streaming. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just like really gonna be streaming, not so intense games. Like I'm not trying to push out um, 4K. Triple A titles um, and online. Well, my internet's not even all that good, to be honest. It's like prepaid internet. So it's 20 down, one up. So, yeah, I know from those specs alone, that's not really grounds for good stream. But um, I am able to stream somewhat. That's what I want to do right now. Like, I just want to stream um, standard def, if possible. It's only me using the internet, for the most part. For the times that I want to stream, it's only going to be me using the internet. So, we'll see how it works out. Like, I've tried to stream on PlayStation 4, like, directly. And I have a video coming out on that too, y'all. So don't you fret. Like, I've been gone 
supposedly from this channel. Um, my last upload was four months ago, and um, yeah, we'll 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 fix that. We'll we'll work on that because um, I genuinely want to um, get this channel up and popping, but I don't know the upload like how upload frequency or how you know how I want to or what I want to upload because like gameplay I really can't do that yet but we'll see we'll see y'all so um yeah basically got this computer because my other computer my laptop for um two three no not two three like three four five years ago um, finally kicked the bucket, the hard drive went kaput, and it was no longer good. Um, which sucks because I had, like, a whole bunch of stuff on there. And it was, like, a 500 gig hard drive. And, um, well, now I know, you know, don't keep everything on the computer because you never know if it'll crap out or not. Um, what I want to say, y'all... So, yeah, I lost a couple of videos, mainly Spirit Hunter Deathmark and Spirit Hunter NG, the first chapter playthrough, and the, whatchamacallit playthrough, the, the complete playthrough for Deathmark, which sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I haven't platinumed anything. So, like, when I come back to stream, y'all, maybe we can, um, platinum, have a spoiler chat, uh, just for those games, though. I'll, I'll set the, um, house, house rules before, you know, hand. But I do hope you'll join me for that. And, um, definitely would like to have, uh, more of a regulated stream. That is, if I get another job, then it, you know, gets thrown out the window, and then I'll have to be reduced to just, um, uploading content, and not so much gameplay video. But, yeah, y'all, um, I hope this computer can get me through, um, the start of this channel, and, um, can't wait to see what y'all have to say, what kind of people I'm getting. Um, I will say this, y'all. I will say this as well. Um, just on the basis of the experience of computer purchasing, this is an open box. You know, I've had pretty good experiences with open box um, products. So, with open box, it's still under warranty for HP and I have a little bit of time before I can put it on another um, HP warranty which is awesome um, unfortunately I had to buy the monitor webcam speakers on my own it did come with this keyboard in which I mistakenly said it was German but it's looking French so forgive me, pardon my ignorance, y'all. Especially my brothers and sisters across the pond. I mean no harm. Um, I'm just not familiar with French or German. Like, you display Spanish in front of me, I got it like that. But French, German, uh, it's kind of hard for me to distinguish Italian, you know. And then this is the mouse. This is, um, this is basically what I'm using, y'all. You know, if I were to step up my game... I would definitely get um, the HP Omen um, pre-built computer. And I would like pretty much future-proof it if I can. And then, um, you know, for times where I come back here, um, you know, I had this computer to stream off of if, ne if need be. But... Um, you know, I would I would rather have something, you know, that can be accessed and used for anybody who visits the house that needs to use a computer or whatever. So, yeah, I bought this one for me 
but I like when I move to a bigger place, I wouldn't take this with me. This could stay at here, you know. So yeah, like definitely when I get a bigger place and whatnot, I would want to upgrade, get the Omen, get like pretty much a beast of a computer. So I don't have to worry about that. And then um, the beauty of having like a beast computer is that I don't have to worry about um, the computer faltering when it's trying to stream and game. And um, I don't know, I may do a dual PC setup, but we'll see. For the most part, it would be um, a, a powerhouse computer that can handle both. So, yeah, y'all. Oh, also, another thing that I haven't, um, another thing that I haven't really touched on, like, you know, I guess, and it's new to me, is that these desktops, they can now, um, connect wirelessly, um, to the internet. I will always want to have my computer, my desktop computers hardwired but you know it's good to know in case something happens where the router has to be elsewhere and the computer can still connect to it but i personally would like for my desktops to be hardwired into the router that's just me so yeah y'all um we'll see how i deal with like streaming All right, y'all, sorry, I had to go check on dinner and your girl got good intuition, cooking intuition. I'm learning as I'm doing. And yeah, food's just done in time for us to enjoy. So um, awesome, I didn't burn dinner. But y'all, uh, keeping on the train of thought, I hope, um, my main thing, y'all, is that, um, you know, this is just a stepping stone. This is to get my feet wet, if you will. Um, I'd love to hear, you know, what y'all have to say. I know there's going to be anti-pre-built folks, and they're going to say, well, Sasha, or mid-morning, whatever, y'all. Uh, you can just build your own PC, you probably could have saved a fortune. I know that, but there's always the risk of user error in which um, I don't want to fry up the motherboard because I do generate a lot of static electricity. So I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. I, 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 I'd rather like take it baby steps. So you know, if it comes to a point where I feel comfortable in, um, you know, upgrading a pre-built, then I could move to um, tinkering with building from, you know, scratch, quote unquote. Um, yeah, though, y'all, um, this is this is the beginning, but. Like, let me know, like, what are your thoughts and opinions on PC gaming? Are you all for it? Are you kind of like, well, you know, if I had to, but I prefer consoles? Uh, do let me know. I mean, PC has all, like, all the makings of being the video game machine the ultimate video game experience however nintendo <laughs> and i am a nintendo advocate i do like nintendo products basically the first party products and um yeah pc ain't really getting that you see how they tried to dabble in um the mobile experience and then they're like well we shutting that shit down so you know, Nintendo on PC, of course, y'all ne um, need not mention there's emulators, Sasha. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But I mean, for like the current releases, you gotta you gotta go with um, 
you gotta go with Nintendo because they're not accessible like the other two, Sony and Microsoft, are. So, yeah, I mean, that that, that is a thing. But, yeah, y'all, um, I am excited. I think this was a very good purchase. I probably could have waited. I didn't think my uh, laptop was going to fail when it did, but it did. And I needed something now, unfortunately. I probably could have got, like, um, one of the older generation Omens for, like, a couple hundred dollars more. And it could have been a lot, um, a lot more future-proofed. But it is what it is. That's the... You know, that's the um, steps we take, or I take. That's the steps I took, so, yeah. I mean, I'm happy with my purchase. I love HP. I think they are a great manufacturer. Some folks may say otherwise. And, you know, um, we all have our brand, and, you know, I'm sticking with HP. So, yeah, folks, uh, that's going to do it. So thank you all for tuning with me with this very long talk. It's been very overdue, but I do have a couple other um, videos that I want to shoot and um, talk to you all about um, just like what's been going on uh, with like gaming stuff. Like, so yeah, nope. Um, and then also... I will kind of touch on the drama a little bit in the gaming community. And it's like I'm late to the party, but better late than never sort of deals. So, yeah, y'all. Thank you very much for sitting on through and listening to what I have to say. Really appreciate you stopping on by. This is Mid-Morning Soul signing out. But as, but as usual, y'all know my philosophy on this YouTube shit. Do what you want to do what you want to. And I'll see you all in the next video. So until then, my friends, Mid Morning Soul signing out. Peace.